Okay, this is a test. I wanted to see uh, if this would be helpful in showing you guys how to do a protein alignment. So, so far we've done DNA alignments. And for example, if I start back at this a new tab and go to the NCBI site, NCBI gene where you've been before and then I type in gap DH tomato and you you've probably been here before too and we'll select the uh, gap DH entry for selenum like a persicum which is the Latin name for the tomato. And it brings this up. And so, so far, when you've wanted to see a DNA sequence, you can scroll down here to uh, the FASTA box and click on it. And that's where you've, you've done that before. You've clicked on this FASTA uh, box and you can scroll down and from there to the nucleotides. But what if we wanted the predicted protein uh, from from this gene. So instead of clicking this fast A, you can go over here to this box that says RefSeq proteins, which stands for reference sequence proteins. And if I click on that, it's going to bring up another page and gap DH from our tomato. And now you can scroll down and see the amino acid sequence here of, of the predicted protein, um, starting with the, the methionine, that start codon. And so this is the protein. If you can do this for all the different genes, your uh, gene products you're interested in, and then you can align them in the same way that you can align DNA sequences. So if we open a new window and we go to plus stall W2, multiple sequence alignment. And then we've been, we've been changing this box of DNA before, but here we're gonna leave it as protein. If you wanna do align multiple proteins, the only trick here is after you paste the sequence in, doesn't matter if you include these numbers on the side, that's okay. So we're going to copy this and paste it over here. All right, it looks kind of ugly, but that's okay. You have to add a little set of characters up here. The, the inequality sign followed by some text. And we could say gap DH tomato. That makes it recognizable to Clustal W2. And let's say you want to align that with something else. I'm just going to open up another one that I have opened here. RefSeq protein. It'll bring up some other page with the predicted amino acid sequence for the gene. Copy the sequence. leave a couple spaces, paste it in. I'm gonna go back up here and didn't look too carefully, but that is gap DH from rice, if I remember right. And if we hit submit, oh, two sequences cannot share the same identifier. Uh, I forgot to do one thing. I'm doing this in one take, you guys, so I'm not going to go back and edit this out. This has to be one uh, single word, I believe. You can't have any spaces, so hopefully that fixes it. And if I submit, and then we wait, hopefully it doesn't take too long.
and then it brings up this nice sequence alignment right here. So this is how you get a protein sequence alignment, real similar to how you do uh, DNA sequence alignment, um, but you have to click on that reference sequence uh, link, and then you have to manually put in uh, that little entry that tells Clustal that this is a protein FASTA file rather than um, uh, it, that's than, than a DNA FASTA file. So that's how you do it. Hope it helps.